A quick tip, make sure you check out the description box down below. Remember when you could refer to your knees as left and right instead of the good or bad ones? <laughs> the good old days. Hello everyone, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna talk about knee problems and the effect of physical therapy. Let's go! Knee problems can often be managed effectively with physical therapy alone, depending on the specific condition and its severity. Physical therapy is particularly beneficial for a range of knee issues, including osteoarthritis. We have pain management. Physical therapists utilize modalities such as ice, heat, ultrasound, and electrical simulation to reduce pain and inflammation in the knee joint. These techniques help manage discomfort, allowing patients to engage more fully in therapeutic exercises. Strengthening exercises A key focus of physical therapy is to build the strength of muscles surrounding the knee, especially the quadriceps, hamstrings, and hip muscles. Strengthening these muscles help to better support the knee joint, reducing the load and stress on the arthritic areas. This can lead to improved shock absorption and decreased pain during activities. Flexibility and range of motion exercises Stretching routines are essential for maintaining and improving the knee joint's flexibility and range of motion. These exercises help to combat stiffness, making movement easier and less painful, which is crucial for daily activities. Manual therapy Physical therapists use hands-on techniques such as joint immobilization and soft tissue massage to enhance joint function. These interventions can decrease pain, improve mobility, and promote better blood flow to the affected areas, aiding the overall healing process. Balance and proprioception training Improving balance and proprioception, the sense of joint position, is important for enhancing knee stability. Balance exercises can help prevent falls and reduce the risk of further injury, contributing to overall joint protection and patient confidence and movement. Aerobic conditioning Incorporating low-impact aerobic exercises like walking, cycling, and swimming into the therapy regimen improves cardiovascular health and assists with weight management. Maintaining a healthy weight is critical for reducing stress on the knee joint, which can alleviate symptoms and show its progression of osteoarthritis. Patient education and self-management Education is a pivotal component of physical therapy. Therapists teach patients about joint protection techniques, proper body mechanics, and activity modifications to reduce knee stress. Patients are also guided on home exercise programs to maintain progress between therapy sessions, fostering long-term self-management of their condition. Assistive devices When necessary, physical therapists may recommend the use of assistive devices such as knee braces, arthritics, or walking aids. These devices can provide additional support, stabilize the knee, and reduce pain during daily activities, thereby enhancing overall function and mobility. Through this multifaceted approach, physical therapy aims to address the pain and functional limitations associated with knee osteoarthritis. By improving muscle strength, joint flexibility, and overall stability, physical therapy helps patients regain their independence and improve their quality of life despite the challenges of osteoarthritis. Pedalofemoral pain syndrome. Exercises to strengthen and stretch the muscles can correct imbalances and improve knee alignment. Physical therapy plays a crucial role in managing pedalofemoral pain syndrome, or PFPS, often referred to as runner's knee, by addressing the underlying causes of pain and dysfunction. Number one, meniscal tears. Some meniscal tears can heal through physical therapy that focuses on muscle strengthening around the knee. Physical therapy aims to enhance the stability and function of the knee joint, facilitating the healing process of the meniscus and reducing symptoms such as pain and swelling. Number two, ligament injuries, example, ASCL and MCL. Mild to moderate ligament injuries can benefit from rehabilitation exercises aimed at improving stability and function. Physical therapy for these injuries focuses on restoring knee strength, flexibility, and stability, which are crucial for full recovery. Are you finding this video enjoyable? Before continuing with the rest of the content, please consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel. This way, you'll stay informed about all our upcoming video releases. Number 3. Tendonitis Strengthening and stretching exercises can reduce inflammation and pain in the affected tendon. 
Physical therapy plays a crucial role in the management of tendonitis, a condition characterized by inflammation and irritation of tendon. Through targeted exercises and therapeutic techniques, physical therapy aims to alleviate symptoms, promote healing, and prevent recurrence. Number 4. Strengthening Exercises Specific strengthening exercises are designed to gradually load the affected tendon, promoting tendon adaption and resilience. Eccentric exercises, which involve lengthening the muscle tendon units under tension, are particularly effective in tendon rehabilitation. Strengthening the surrounding muscles also helps offload stress from the tendon, reducing strain and promoting healing. Number 5. Stretching and Flexibility Exercises Gentle stretching exercises help improve flexibility and reduce tension in the affected tendon and surrounding muscles. Dynamic stretching techniques, such as controlled movements through a full range of motion, can enhance tissue elasticity and mobility. Flexibility exercises are crucial for maintaining optimal tendon function and preventing stiffness. Number 6. Tendon Loading Programs Progressive tendon loading programs involve gradually increasing the intensity and duration of activities that stress the tendon. This approach simulates tissue remodeling and improves tendon capacity, leading to reduced pain and improved function over time. Physical therapists tailor these programs to each individual tolerance and stage of healing. Number 7. Modalities for pain relief Modalities such as ice therapy, ultrasound, and electrical stimulation may be used to alleviate pain, reduce inflammation, and promote tissue healing. These adjunctive treatments can provide symptomatic relief while supporting the overall rehabilitation process. Number 8. Biomechanical Assessment and Correction Physical therapists conduct thorough biomechanical assessments to identify any underlying factors contributing to tendon stress and inflammation. Addressing issues such as improper footwear, faulty movement patterns, or biomechanical imbalances can help prevent recurrent tendon denitis episodes and optimize long-term tendon health. Number 9. Activity Modification and Education Educating patients about proper body mechanics Ergonomic principles and activity modifications strategies is essential for managing tendonitis. Patients learn techniques to minimize excessive strain on the affected tendon during daily activities, work and support participation. Learning to recognize early warning signs of tendon irritation empowers individuals to take proactive steps to prevent exasperation. Number 10. Gradual return to activity. Physical therapists guide patients through a structured return to activity protocol, gradually reintroducing functional movements and sport-specific tasks while monitoring symptoms and tolerance. This gradual progression minimizes the risk of re-injury and allows the tendon to adapt to increasing demands over time. In more severe cases, such as advanced osteoarthritis, complex meniscal tears, and complete ligament ruptures, surgical interventions followed by physical therapy may be necessary. A healthcare professional can assess the condition and recommend the most appropriate treatment plan. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay updated on our latest content. You can also check out our other videos for more related content. And remember, your feedback helps us create better content for you, so feel free to leave a comment below with any suggestions or questions. See you in the next video. Goodbye!